There's a really cool idea in calculus called the difference quotient. Except in calculus, you take this uh, relatively simple looking piece of algebra and you bring it to the limit of h becoming very, very small. In other words, it's asking what your average rate of change, right? See this thing right here? It's asking what's the average rate of change of something or the slope as um, the two points that you're measuring between get so close together that they're practically on top of each other. That's kind of what calculus is all about. I'll leave a lot of that for you to discover later. Right now, we're just going to calculate the difference quotient for some value h. h is the separation between two points or the interval of, of length h. Okay, so we're going to calculate average rate of change over some interval h. And what we're going to do is a little bit of function algebra right here. We have to substitute in this idea of x plus h into a function and then subtract f of x. So let's go through that and see what it turns into for this equation, which is 3x squared plus x plus 2. So what I'm going to do is write 3, oops, I almost wrote 3x squared. I'm going to th write 3 something squared plus something plus 2. And then I'm going to say minus f of x, which is minus, uh, well, that, that f of x thing, 3x squared plus x plus 2. All right, and then that whole mess divides by h. Now, remember, when I do f of x plus h, that means x plus h replaces all those x values. So here's what I get. I have to just sort that out. At this point, it's just simplification, uh, meaning we square some terms, do some combining like terms, and I think some things are going to uh, cancel out for us. They usually do. Um, if you don't see things canceling out, that means something went wrong in your algebra. Okay, so this is going to be 3 times x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. Okay, then I have plus x plus h plus 2. Okay, so really I'm not changing a whole lot here. I'm, I'm rewriting a good deal. So you can kind of follow along with these steps. What I did was I really just focused on that element right there. And now let's multiply these things out, distribute the minus signs and so on. What do we get? We get 3x squared plus 6xh plus 3h squared plus x plus h plus 2 minus 3x squared minus x minus 2. Now some things are going to cancel out here. This is the part where you really should be knocking things down. See this 3x squared? That cancels out with negative 3x squared. What else do we have? Uh, I've got a plus x here. That's nice. Cancels out my minus x. And there's a plus 2 that cancels out the minus 2. So if you combine everything that's left and remaining, it's not a whole lot. We get 6xh plus 3h squared plus h, all divided by h. Okay. Now you can see some more things cancel out. Um, let's see magenta. H's cancel out. If you factor out an H from the top, you can cancel out one of those factors from each of these terms, which gives you a final answer looking like this. The difference quotient is 6x plus 3H plus 1. Okay. Now, as you get into calculus and you learn more about the difference quotient, you'll see that there are some patterns to the answer we got. If you compare 6x plus 3H plus 1, to what we started with. Okay, this is the difference quotient. Remember, our initial function was 3x squared plus, what was it? Plus x plus 2. There are some patterns that you might even start to notice right now between what we started with and the difference quotient we get. And once you do this a few times, uh, those really should jump out at you. This is going to be a very useful skill.